name is Steven Rosenberg, this is Gene Ginsberg, and welcome to Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes. We're really excited because we have a great show for you guys today, and we're going to be talking about Snapchat. So Snapchat just came out with a brand new feature that I think is really going to revolutionize how people are using their cell phones. And the best way that I can describe it is something that reminds me of Pokemon Go. Gene, do you remember when Pokemon Go came out and it was like an overnight success and yeah. everyone was freaking out about it because of the AR, VR technology? Yeah, I totally remember. Yeah, I'm excited to be on the show today and talk about Snapchat. Um, so what are these new updates that are going on with Snapchat? I'm, I have not heard about them. Yeah, so some really cool things are having to do with your picture images as well as your video images. So the first thing that the new update uh, incorporates is you can actually take a picture of a setting, whether it's outside, inside, whatever it is, and you can actually put a filter on it. So if it's daytime, you can actually make it look like it's nighttime with a starry night sky. Um, and it's really, really cool how they, the technology behind it is working to really make a picture that is taken look like a completely different setting, a completely different picture. So that's the first thing. The second thing that is really revolutionary is you're actually able to interact with, in real time, a 3D uh, Bitmoji model. So before, again, I'm trying to relate it to the Pokemon Go thing, when you're on your cell phone, you're looking through the camera and you can see everything, but you also see Pikachu or whatever. Uh, through the screen and so what it does now is you can actually have your own bitmoji on there doing things with different types of filters and it's really 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 cool and fascinating and I think that it's going to really revolutionize how people are interacting with and using uh, their cell phones on a daily basis especially utilizing snapchat and I'm sure Instagram as well. So what's do uh, you, what do you what do you mean by like you can change out your bit like can you put a little hat on your bitmoji or put a little bow tie on him? Is that how it works? Is that how the no. filter works? So like well yeah you can do that of course, but that's like still image bitmoji. So what I'm talking about is you know when you when you press play and you have this feature on, it's like your actual bitmoji as a person comes on the screen and is doing different interactive things in real time with whatever is behind your camera. So basically that means that if you are, you can have a little person that represents you in like, a like picture. An, like an avatar, kind of. Like exactly, like an avatar. And it is really, really interesting to see because, you know, considering the different situations and settings, it's just, it's really fascinating, and I think that it also opens up a lot of opportunities for businesses to make really creative, uh, short little videos, whether they're advertising the product or whatever it is, um, and they don't actually have to be the star of the show. So if you wake up in the morning yeah. and you feel like you don't look amazing, you can still do something very creative, but using this avatar instead of actually you yourself. True. No, that's true. I mean, and there are businesses who do that. You know that have like a, a, a re, an avatar representative, if you will, like a right. cartoon type of character that represents their business. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that happens all the time now, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So now you can kind of do it a lot easier, where you can create an avatar of yourself or of, of your business representative, if you will, and it's, make them into mm -hmm. an avatar. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty interesting. How like business and Snapchat kind of can, can be put together, and how you can use Snapchat for your business. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, the, the underlying point that I'm trying to get at and the main value that I think people can take away from this is one, like approximately a year ago is when Pokemon Go came out. And then a year later, now Snapchat is incorporating the first version of this into their actual application. You know, what is it going to be like in two, three, four, five years from now? And if you're a business owner, you know, whether or not this is the right fit for you today, just know that the technology is moving in this direction and it is the smartest thing that you could do as a business owner to start understanding it, to start utilizing it, uh, and try to start thinking of creative ideas on how your business could actually benefit from this. Because at the end of the day, whether you use Snapchat platform or not, 
you can make the videos on Snapchat and save it to your actual camera roll and then upload it to Facebook or Instagram or wherever else, YouTube, wherever you want to do it. But it's just, it really opens up a lot of new possibilities and I'm excited to see what happens in the next six months to a year. Yeah, with VR, all of these changes are going on. It's coming. and I know, it's pretty exciting. And then I wonder what uh, Facebook is gonna do now that Snapchat has rolled out all of these interesting new updates. I can tell you exactly what they're gonna do. What are they gonna do? I'll tell you exactly what they're gonna do. The exact same thing. Because over the last approximately year, anything that Snapchat has done in terms of a release or an update on their platform, Facebook or Instagram, very quickly comes uh, right behind and does the same exact updates. So, but I also think that Facebook, you know, still number one platform on social, by far is able to reach, whether it's millennials, whether it's baby boomers, I mean, they still have definitely got market domination and they have so many other functionalities and different things that are involved uh, with Facebook that can give you real granular uh, information about your business or about information. So I still think it's by far valuable, but it's just very smart to be ahead and also to diversify yourself and not pigeonhole yourself into a specific platform. I think it's really important not to be 100% reliant on Facebook because if anything ever changes major in the future, that could really put you at risk. Oh, for sure, yeah. And I'm sure that things will be changing because that's oh, exactly yeah. how all of these platforms are. Changes are going on very quickly and and things can, you know, as, as for your business, we all know things can change very quickly when you rely on, and unfortunately you have to rely on these, on these social media platforms or these platforms, but they kind of run the show, so we have to be playing in their sandbox. That's right. Well, we look forward to hearing what you guys have to think about this. Have you used this feature on Snapchat? What do you think Facebook's going to do next? We'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And as always, have a wonderful day. Gene, I will see you next time. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll continue to get involved and join us as we help you find success in your entrepreneurial journey. Please follow, like, and share with others who will find this beneficial. We'll see you on the next episode of Marketing Success in Under 10 Minutes with Stephen and Gene.